Hi. Um, it is December 31st, Saturday, and um, I'm just making a, a quick update. I am, it is cycle day 15 for me, and um, I think, I'm pretty sure I um, ovulated yesterday on cycle day 14, which is perfect, of course, but you know, that's... Um, not always the case for me. Um, so I, let's see, I woke up Thursday on cycle day 13 and had a negative um, OPK still. And then I worked a short shift. And when I came home, um, it was about 11 and I took one and then it was positive. And so I waited a couple hours and took another. And then I also took the um, digital and these were the two from of course hold on yeah okay you can see them. so that's what i got on thursday and um i also got the digital smiley face at that point so um you know and everything else i'm not gonna go into you know fertile mucus because i'm sure nobody wants to hear about it really but um all of that was perfect. I took the um, Usenex this month and it seemed to work a lot um, really well. So um, then let's see, that was Thursday. Okay, so Friday I got up and I still, still positive. Um, my two Friday tests were darker yet, which usually happens and usually means that that's, I will be, you know, ovulating that day. So, um, then I did have the ovulation pain, which I get more so probably because of the cyst that I don't remember when I had it, but it was, it was yesterday, Friday, um, sometime in the middle of the day and then, um, still normal, you know, fertile mucus and everything. And, um, uh, let's see, then Friday night or afternoon, Friday afternoon, Friday night, they are getting the one still slightly positive and this one was negative and um, I got the open circle on the digital so I'm figuring that I must have ovulated sometime between you know Thursday and Friday probably sometime Friday that's my usual but I did ha okay and then this morning let me let me finish this morning I have negative it's still dark but it's negative so anyway so I know it happened. I know it did. I feel exactly the same as I, I've been doing this for a long time. But my temperature Friday morning was at 97.7. That's really high, especially for the day of ovulation. So it could have been, and then today's temp is lower. So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to, I would put money on it being yesterday. So today would be one DPO. Um, I have, um, I'm trying to think, probably won't be getting a good temperature reading tomorrow because it's New Year's Eve and we probably are going out, um, or at least I will be probably drinking a little, and that usually makes my temperature a little higher than it should be um, normally, so um, I don't know, but um, I'm not super worried about it because I think you know, as long as I know that it happened around that time and I cover my bases with, you know... It, it should be fine. Um, trying to think. Uh, so I'm not sure. Like I said, I hate the temps. I hate temping at this point, but I feel like I can't go without it. I, I feel like I'm just so used to it. Um, but as far as OPKs and every other sign that there is, it already happened. So I, I tend to be a slower riser lately. I'm thinking maybe the temp rise is just because it's, it is a little higher today, but it's, it's just still really low. So I'm not exactly sure. And I think fertility friends probably going to put me on a different day, but they do that sometimes. And I think, I think we tend to know our own bodies better than that. So, um, I'll cover my bases as far as, you know, making sure we have good chances and, um, I'm pretty, I feel pretty good about it, but you know, I'm hoping so much that it happens this month because um, I have those tests next month that I really don't want to do, but I will, of course. So, um, that's it. I guess I'll just make another update in a couple days.